we're going to attempt a crazy challenge in Gran Turismo 7. As you can see, I'm a driver for the Kirith Community Delivery Service here in my Toyota Alphard Executive Lounge. It's basically like a Toyota Transit van. And my fastest lap here at Monza is a 2 minute 10.7. And that's a very good lap. That puts me in about top 300 in the world actually at Monza. And I haven't really tried um, too hard during the week. You can see here that the fastest people in the world... Tamachan from Japan is able to do a two minute nine dead. Here is the challenge. Can we get the Toyota Alphard around Monza in under two minutes? We have a delivery that we have to make. In the back is some very expensive and valuable cargo and we need to get around in under two minutes. So what we've got to do obviously is head to the tuning shop. Now I haven't done some tuning for a while and I'm going to show you here that I have a little problem off the bat which is that I have no money, 10,000 credits. So we need to get a little bit more credits to do some tuning. We are going to be credit limited in this one, I can assure you. And to do that, I'm going to have to sell one of my most valuable possessions. What's it going to be? Oh, I don't want to have to sell. I don't want to... I don't like the Julia. Never liked it. You can go in the bin. Right. The Julia is in the bin. We got 110. I'm also going to sell the M3... Don't really want the M3, and what else can we bin off to put money into this Alphard? Uh, Corvette C7, I always like the Corvettes. The Alpha 8C, I'm going to bin as well, I've never driven it. Okay, so we binned off some cars and we got some credits. Not an awful lot to play with. How are we going to get 10 seconds at Monza to go around in sort of GT3 spec in a Toyota Alphard? How are we going to be able to do this? Um, let's have a look in the tuning shop. I'm a little bit worried. Is there anything in Ultimate? There's a carbon propeller shaft. Um, that's actually going to reduce the PP, so I'm, I'm not going to go for that. Camshaft. We'll do the camshaft. That's going to give us some more horsepower. We got the credits. And we'll do titanium rods. And I can't remember if this thing has it. I don't think this thing has a turbo. You sort of drive it like a turbo, but it doesn't actually have one, does it? So, oh no, it does. I'm just an idiot. It has a high RPM turbocharger. I'm just, I'm just a full-on fool, frankly. Okay, so we're not going to get new engine. What we're going to get? We're not going to get a ceramic brakes because, as I uncovered, that's a waste of money. We've already got racing brakes on it. Hang on, this thing is already pretty kitted out, isn't it? Um, we'll stroke up the engine. We'll just try and eke out as much as we can from the engine. Can we get anywhere near maybe 700 brake horsepower? I don't know. Um, we can't do racing modification. We do the rigidity there. Uh, that's going to hurt the PP slightly, but I think it's going to be worth it in this thing. The manual transition, I don't think we need. Have we already got racing suspension and, and the like? I don't think we do. So let's get... I feel like there's a better suspension than that one. Hang on. What do we have here? Exhaust manifold, LSD, extreme. No, okay. So, sports suspension we'll get in. Because uh, we'll just slam the whole thing down. Just make it absolutely slammed. And we've got all of that. Okay. Uh, we can't reduce the weight anymore. So, we can do a bore up. Get a little bit more power out of the engine. And do we have a... We, ah, we can get... A, now we've got a racing science, so that would be a downgrade. I think we're pretty much there. Maybe the computer. Yeah, we get a bit more out with the computer. And get a nicer crankshaft. That will do as well. Do we want the high RPM turbocharger? I think we probably actually do. So we're going to go with that. I'm also going to try and put a wang on it. I'm not sure it's going to work, but let's see if um, we can get any aerodynamics on this thing. Because to get this under two minutes, I'm really... I don't... I'm not really sure about this. So, we've already got a front splitter. Let's just put that one on. Side skirts. Put these on. Rear wang. Oh, that's a, diff that's a splitter. Again, we'll put that on. Maybe a bit more downforce. And we'll put a bigger wang on it. So, a little bit there on the aero side, possibly. Wheels. Do I think we've got the biggest rims in it probably we've got some sort of racing style uh no we haven't 
let's put the 22s. I don't know whether this is going to be good for the handling, going on 22-inch rims, frankly. But we're also about to find out. So can we get this thing on two minutes? That's pretty much all we can do. So we're going to go now to Monza and have a look. Right, so we're at Monza. I'm going to change the tyres to the racing softs. I'm going to just slam. I'm going to slam the whole thing down. I have a slight rake on it, but it's basically going to be slammed like that. Uh, ECU and everything is good. Downforce, we can adjust. We actually probably want to go like minimal downforce here at Monza. So I'm going to go like that. I might regret it. We might not have enough downforce for the corners. And I think everything else we have pretty, pretty, pretty good. Uh, we didn't get that carbon prop shaft in the end. Maybe I'll regret it, leaving some performance on the table. Let's see how we're going to do then at Monza. Remember, can we go sub two minutes? Can we take 10 seconds off our time? Can we go 10 seconds quicker than the pros are doing? I have to say, my initial instinct is that this thing feels absolutely rapid. Now, we got the high RPM turbo, but I'm not sure we quite have the gears to support it. I'm having to, like, go through the gears quite quickly, but how quickly are we going to go faster? If I remember, this thing sort of tops out about 159, isn't it, or something? Maybe I'm getting that completely wrong in uh, bop spare so we are absolutely battering through that into curve grinder the first sort of handling test i just didn't feel comfortable going three flat there but i think we're gonna have to try without a break we're into eighth gear by the thing way this is absolutely crazy break 150 wow this thing stops i'll tell you what i've there it, okay we're gonna go we're gonna turn it into a double right until that moment i was gonna say i'll say it anyway this thing sort of handles better than a lot of, like, bona fide race cars. Let's see if we can learn anything more on this sort of outlap. In the tra full transit position. It's like sitting in the middle seat, isn't it? <laughs> Anyone who's sat in the front of one of these, has driven one of these. But uh, let me know in the comments if you're actually a truck driver. Like, so many of our viewers in this channel are truck drivers. Are we big in the truck driving community? Let's find out. Right. Coming through Ascari. Left, right, left. Here's the left. Oh, it handles the curbs very nicely. This is nice. This is nice. Okay, I think we might be able to do this. I mean, having, look, having a look at the timer here, I reckon this thing is a genuine beast of Gran Turismo. There we go, kicking it out. I mean, it's it's def I mean, I think I think our outlap is actually under two minutes. But how quickly can we go? How quickly can we go in this thing? Right. What happened is I binned it halfway around the lap, but it was looking absolutely insane. I want to do it justice, so we're going to go around. This is going to be the flying lap. Are we ready? What can we do? Third gear fourth gear sixth gear seventh gear I think this is where we could change the gearing because eighth gear is a bit weird it feels a bit weird oh my word are we actually going to rev out an eighth my word we are absolutely flying as a tip it in Eight gears like a Formula One car, this thing. It's a form basically, it's a form right, break early here, break early, early, early. My word, that's so good on the brakes. That is so good on the brakes. That is so satisfying on the brakes. Did you see the way it decelerated? Right, here we go. Oh no, I've binned it. I've binned it again. I've binned it again. I don't. I think there's a I think there's a lap from like a obscene lap available here. Let's go around. I've got to make sure I do it because I've got to do this thing justice. Can you believe this Alphard? Honestly, I think this is like the hidden secret of Gran Turismo 7. This thing should be absolutely legendary. Here we go.
through a scar. Right, I've got to make sure not to bin it. This is going to be the last lap, by the way. This is it. This is a lap I'm going to put the pressure on. It's a killer, this thing. It's a killer. The way it decelerates at the end of the braking phase is like... I don't know if it's to do with the weight of the thing or something, but it just like... It just gets better at decelerating. It's crazy. It's like it doesn't have any sort of fade or anything in the phase. 150 shift. Hundred sixty four shift. How fast can we go before we hit the braking zone? I, I nailed the braking here last time. I was so happy with it. Wow, we're carrying the speed, watching a little bit wide. We ready? Concentrating a little bit more on the exit that time. Oh, nice and smooth there. Nice and smooth. Look at this. Nice and smooth. Oh my word. This lap could be biblical, everyone. This could be a biblical lap. Watch out. Watch out, that's all I'm going to say. Eat those curbs for breakfast. We'll be flat over here, thank you very much. Shift up over the curb. Jess Parabolica to go. Could we go sub 1 minute 40? Surely not. I think that's impossible. No! I can't do it! I can't do it! I can't drive this thing! I can't drive it! Oh, I haven't done it justice. Oh, please, please, please. Can you tune your Alphards? Let us know in the Discord. Discord.gg forward slash Kirith if you've been able to do a better lap. Okay, at least I did a better lap. But I haven't been able to do it justice. But this thing is absolutely insane. We did beat the challenge there. We have, we have gone well under two minutes. It shows how powerful tuning is in GT7. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out these other tuning videos. You may enjoy them. And I'll see you. See you next time.